Let's solve the logistic differential equation using separation of variables. So here we want to put all the y's on the left hand side. So let's divide by this quantity and we get dy over y times 1 minus y over 20 equals dt over 10. Putting the 10 here makes it a bit easier later. You'll see why. And then, as usual for this technique, we integrate. So integral of this equals integral of that. But the right-hand side just becomes t over 10 plus a constant. For the left-hand side, what we want to do, we just want to multiply top and bottom right, by 20. So this is 20. And this is 20. And then what this becomes, the left-hand side, we get 20 dy over y times 20 minus y. And then if you evaluate this using partial fractions, I will skip this step, it turns out you get a nice simplification. It's just integral of 1 over y plus 1 over 20 minus y dy. So the nice thing is, in this case, the denominators are just, like the numerators are just 1. And then integral of 1 over y, that's ln of absolute value of y. And here, because of the minus, you could use as u substitution, u equals 20 minus y. You would actually get minus ln of 20 minus y. which then simplifies to ln of the ratio. So ln of y over 20 minus y. So again, to summarize, after the separation of variables, what do we get? On the one hand, we have t over 10 plus c. On the other hand, we have ln of this absolute value. Those are the two separate contributions, and let's just set them equal to each other. The nice thing is now we can actually solve for the thing that's inside. So what we get is y over 20 minus y. We just exponentiate this. So e of t plus 10 plus c, which is e of c times e of t over 10. And then to remove the absolute values, you just do plus minus. So y over 20 over y equals plus or minus e to the c, e to the t over 10. But here's the thing. So e to the c is any arbitrary positive constant. And with this plus minus, this just becomes an arbitrary constant. So let's just replace this name by, you know, C. Okay, because this is arbitrary, so we just call it an arbitrary constant. And we get C e to the t over 10. Now, you could solve for y in this equation by cross multiplying, but it turns out, as you see in a second, it's much easier to take reciprocals. Because if you take the reciprocal here, you get 20 over y, 20 minus y over y. If you take reciprocals here, you just have 1 over c times e to the minus 10, t over 10. So what I said, you get 20 minus y over y equals, again, an arbitrary constant. I replace 1 over c by c, e to the minus t over 10. And the cool thing is, with this, we can solve for y. So 20 over y minus 1 equals c e to the minus t over 10. And then you get 20 over y equals 1 plus c e to the minus t over 10. And then taking reciprocals yet again, we get y over 20 equals 1 over 1 plus c e to the minus t over 10. And finally, we get y is 20 over 1 plus c e to the minus t over 10. And then we're almost done, because the only thing left 
is to plug in the initial condition. Again, okay, this is the formula for y, and I believe the initial condition was y of 0 equals 5. So 20 over 1 plus, so ce to the 0, that's just c, equals 5. All right, and then you can cross multiply. So 1 plus c equals 5 over 20 over 5. So 1 plus c equals 4. So c equals 3. And therefore, what is the, the general solution? y is 20 over 1 plus 3 e to the minus t over 10. Yes, and then uh, one more remark. So again, what this is supposed to model is the population of bunnies, but more realistically, because bunnies don't multiply exponentially, they are limited by resources, such as limited amount of food. And in fact, the cool thing is, if you let t goes to infinity, then this goes to zero, and in fact, the limit as t goes to infinity over a solution, because 20 over 1 plus 0, which is 20, which is precisely that number 20 that arose in the equation at the very beginning. So sometimes that number is called a limiting factor, and what it represents is, in fact, the limit of the population of bunnies in the long run. So a very, very uh, relevant model. In fact, also, I believe, if you model the population of Belgium, for instance, you can actually see that this logistic model you know, uh, describes it quite accurately, which is really, really cool. All right, I hope you like this, and if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.